uh, for, for Fiji group. And we expect periods of rain, heavy at times with scorching sun thunderstorms or by showers, Maman of the group, eastern and interior of Viti level and Bonua level. For rest of Fiji, can expect occasional rain with isolated heavy falls and thunderstorms. Now, as the system is going to come closer, we can anticipate rain to become frequent and heavy with squally thunderstorms. And this is where uh, we need to be more uh, vigilant and alert with those heavy rains that will be coming down, especially for those uh, people living in the low-lying areas and prone to flash flooding. And these rains will be coming in bands, and some of them may persist or continue for an hour or two. So uh, that, that's the expectation uh, when these heavy rain banks uh, come over Fiji. Some significant rainfall over the last 14 hours from uh, 1 a.m. last night until 3 p.m. this afternoon. Uh, the Nangakuluka, Nagolau, and Waimanu in the Rewa catchment, they have caught more than 100 millimeters of rainfall especially for number Kaluka, which recorded 222 millimeters of rainfall. Now, these amounts of rainfall getting into a catchment is very intense and substantial, which has the potential to uh, bring flash flooding should the more rain that comes in uh, tonight and tomorrow. At Laudala Bay, uh, it was 91.5 millimeters, and in Lomaibuna 73.5. The rest of the other uh, areas uh, over Fiji are getting less than uh, 50 millimeters of rain, but as we go into tonight and tomorrow, we expect uh, these rains uh, to be more, uh, to be recorded more when we come tomorrow by this time. Strong wind warning uh, remains in force for land areas and waters of Fiji. And on the land areas, expect fresh to strong southeast to northeast winds. And this is uh, about 40 kilometers per hour, which gusting up to 55 kilometers per hour. For Fiji waters, expect about 20 to 25 uh, north winds. As all, again, in the same way, wind direction, northeast to southeast, gusting at times, and seas uh, rough and with the poor visibility in areas of heavy rain. Now, damaging heavy swell. Uh, damaging heavy swell, as we expect, the swells have been generated because of a low pressure system to the south of Safa, southwest of Fiji, and a low pressure to the east, which one has the anticyclonic, which is the uh, high pressure system, is the, it has a wind in the anticyclone direction, and the low pressure has a wind in the cyclonic direction. So one in the anti-cyclonic direction and the other one in the clockwise direction, they are bringing up the wind stretch, which is creating a damaging heavy swells uh, from the south, and it has been reaching over Fiji uh, since Friday in some areas. Tonight, uh, this evening, the highest uh, or the peak wave is expected to arrive. Uh, during high tide, and tomorrow morning we expect that. So given that uh, some of those waves sitting on the high tide and arriving at the coastline, there is a high chance that uh, these waves can overwash the littoral zone, which is the, zone, the line of vegetation, and even wash over the roads uh, along the coral coast. Now looking at these waves being generated, the red ones are more than four meters, and some of these blue ones, and this is the passage around the Batu Grasa, and this is where the uh, risk is high, where it can overwash the roads during the high tides. Uh, similar situations can be imagined or assumed when we normally get the king tides, and out of the king tides, uh, uh, we have some of these waves sitting on it, and they don't normally uh, overwash those areas. And for those uh, villages uh, in, on the Coral Coast, in the southern uh, Viti Levu, as well as on the western Viti Levu coast, Mama Nudis, uh, they, are going, they, they are requested to be extra vigilant 
in terms of these uh, waves, this uh, evening's high tide into tomorrow morning's high tide, uh, such a scenario uh, could be expected uh, in terms of uh, the uh, heavy, uh, heavy damaging swells. Fresh flooding, uh, given that some rain has already occurred and that has uh, substantial rain, especially in the river catchment, and with anticipated rain forecasted, uh, there is a potential uh, for fresh flooding, especially for those uh, areas that are prone to fresh flooding. Uh, there is also a chance uh, for the occurrence of those, a uh, high chance of for occurrence of those flash floods if there is a persistent uh, heavy rain occurring in the same location. And uh, we also see that the high tide is about 1.8 meters, and on top of that, the damaging uh, heavy swells will be sweeping that would <coughs> exacerbate the situation in the low lying areas. Advice to communities. For those that are living in the coastal areas, flood-prone and landslide-prone areas, are advised to be alert and take necessary precaution if necessary. Um, members of the public are also encouraged to stay safe and do not attempt to uh, cross flooded drains, rivers, or roads, or bridges, and motorists are requested that they should not attempt to drive in the flooded waters, recalling the incidents that happened during Easter weekend, and we really call on the motorists to be more vigilant this time around should there be any flooding across the roads. Wave conditions are risky <coughs> for mariners to carry out activities such as fishing and the sea transportation on coastal areas, especially for those operating smaller vessels, should avoid uh, navigating in these conditions. Similarly, for those uh, using Queen's Road, as mentioned before, uh, please uh, exercise extra alert or exercise extra caution uh, for occasional watch of our roads during high tides, especially this evening and tomorrow morning. And all communities living in the coastal areas and other sea users, particularly in Kandavu, Benga, Batulele, Southern Lao, and Mamanuda groups, Southern and Western Vitilevu are advised to exercise extreme caution and be vigilant uh, of occasional sea flooding during this high tide. Uh, this is the briefing for this afternoon. If you have got any questions, I'm happy to take on questions, make any clarifications if you wish.